Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I have my background immersion set up and show you how we can do it as well. So it basically consists of three parts, the adding of audio, the listening and the removing of audio. So if we start with the adding, we use Substress Res like many others and you can just go under tools and extract audio from media to get the audio from media, just like it says. And then I add that to iTunes and the cool thing with iTunes is this folder here, automatically add to iTunes. So whenever you make or you get new audio and you add it into here, it will automatically instantly get added to iTunes. So I can just take some media here and show you. I'm just gonna have to find iTunes here. Uh, here. So if you do this, just take whatever media you have and if you put stars here, it's gonna go through all the all the videos. And then take this as a destination folder. Then whenever this name here, then whenever it extracts something, it's gonna get added here and automatically added into here. You don't have to refresh it or anything, it's it's instant, so you don't have to worry about it. So that's all about the adding of audio. It's super simple to do it this way. I really recommend it. And then the listening of audio, I use this, a script made from someone in the MIA community. Uh, and here it is. So it's a script that when there's three seconds of silence, then it will play the audio you have. So if you have iTunes, it'll play from iTunes. If you have Spotify, it, it will play from Spotify. So just any media like program, it will just pause or unpause. So if there's silence, it will just start playing it. So here I can show you if I started here. Now in three seconds, it's gonna start. There we go. So then, you see, it's playing. And if I pause it, then in three seconds, it's gonna play again. So now, yeah, it's very cool. So definitely check out the video he made and he explains it a little bit more. Oh. Yes. So I have to shut down the script so I can speak. So I have actually changed this a little bit, not like nothing significant because I think he made, or he used an older version, he could just, his script works perfectly. But I have a newer version, maybe you do as well. Uh, oh, you see here, uh, uh, video or audio files getting added. But to go back to what, what I just said. So I have a newer version, I think. And so it didn't work for me. And I had to add a, a library here. So this library makes it, so it works again basically. So I'm gonna have this in the description as well so you can use this if you want. Uh, you can go into the code and change stuff if you want to, I'm not gonna go into that now here. So to make this a bit more effortlessly is that now you would have to start this every time you run your, your computer. So if you just go into Windows R, or take the run here, Go into startup folder, you can do that by writing this, shell start. Then if you just add this here, the uh, auto hotkey script here, then this will get played or started, I mean, whenever you start your computer. So basically you don't have to do anything, it's effortless. And now, oh, now the last part here, which probably is new, maybe I've already seen what I showed you now before, but this is some new stuff, probably. So in Windows, there's this program that you can use to remove files that are old or like after X amount of days. So I'm going to show you how to use that. So if you, uh, what is it, task, task scheduler, uh, open that. What this does is basically you can set an interval like once a day, and then you can set a program like this remove files program I just talked about. And this will run that program once a day then. So I'm gonna show you how we can set it up. So basically, what I have set up is that I, every day, it checks for any file in this folder here, that if this is more than one week old, then remove the files. So here in task scheduler, then you can make a new uh, folder, or you don't have to, but it's must. It's just must much easier to 
organized. In C, I've already done this before, but yeah. So when you make a new one, just right click and make a new one. And then you have to decide a name. So I'm just going to write remove old files. You can write whatever and then a description if you want something to describe it. If you don't, maybe you'll forget it in a year or two. I don't know. Just click next. And then here, the interval, just one day. So every day it's going to check if these are old enough, basically. So here we can just set a time. I'm just going to take eight in the afternoon or evening, I guess. Uh, and the interval just one day, yeah. So here we want to start a program. That's what we want, that's what we want to do. I'll just click next. And now here we're going to select what program. So the program is four files, it's called. It's in system32 here. You can just scroll down to find it or you could search four files. It's in Windows 10, I don't know, maybe in other Windows versions as well. I'm not sure. But anyway, if you have Windows 10, it's going to work perfectly. So just click that. So now we know at 8 o'clock every day, we're going to run this program. But we haven't told it what to do. So here in the arguments, we have to tell it what to do. So this is going to be the, in the description as well. This is basically just the arguments. Uh, I don't really know what everything does here. It's just, yeah, I haven't looked into it actually, really, but I know that it works. So you want to change two things here. First, here, this is the amount of days. So right now it's set to one month, but if you take seven, it's going to be one week. And then the des destination folder. So here in my case, uh, this is in here in music. I want to check if any of these ones are more than one week old, then remove them. So we're in here in the directory. Just copy the directory directory in here. And now this is done. This is what we want to have. So copy this and paste it here into the argument. And then click next. And then here you don't have to do anything. So now every day at eight o'clock, it's going to check if any of these are more than one week old, then delete them. We can run it manually by clicking this one. So you see, nothing got, re got removed. If I have here something older, that's a yeah, recording is here. <laughs> I have some, some very old recording here. So if I would put that there, then you see it's more than one week old. So if we run it manually, then this would remove this, yeah, and everything else is still here. So if you have any audio that's more than one week, it'll get deleted. And that's basically it. Yeah, I hope you find this useful. If you have any, um, any questions or comments, just leave it in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Adios.